Good afternoon. Welcome to MB News. I am Ms. Moreno. Um, this is the first edition of MB News from home. Um, we have completed five days, uh, five days of students learning from home. Joining me here, I have Areli and Hennessy. Hi, girls. Hi. Hello. And they're going to talk to you about the shelter in place. The coronavirus or COVID-19 has been expanding quickly throughout the world. Here in Monterey County, there are there were two coronavirus cases confirmed. Yesterday, according to KSBW News, two more cases were confirmed. That means that there are now four coronavirus cases in Monterey County. KSBW 8 News states, According to Karina Rusk with Salinas Valley Memorial Healthcare System, the two patients presented separately to SVMH and taken through the Trade tent set up outside of the ER entrance. Their ER staff led them through a systematic protocol established to protect patients and staff and prevent the spread of the virus. This means that people have been staying home to prevent the spread of the virus. People like nurses, doctors, and janitors continue to work. They are all risking their health state to work and take care of us all. Now on to Genesis with more information. Thank you, Arely. Speaking about who can go where, the only places you can go are stores to buy essentials like food, water, cleaning supplies. But beware, it's going to be a hard scavenger hunt. You can also go to work, but if only if you're allowed, like Arely said. Last but not least, you can go walk, but stay at least six feet away from others if you choose to do so. Now with Ms. Moreno with remote learning. Thank you, Hennessy. So yes, we are on day five of remote learning. Um, I want to ask my scholars here, uh, what has been difficult for you these last five days? Something that's been difficult during this time, I believe, is staying home with my family. Um, on our normal days when my brother and I would go to school, um, my dad went to work and my mom stayed home. We would only see each other during the evening and mornings. And now I think that we, we get tired of sitting home alone with just us four and with nobody else to talk to. For me, something that's been difficult is waking up early and doing my work. Because when you're in school, it looks like you're doing less and not that much work. But then when you actually realize how much you're doing, it looks more difficult. So both of you have been doing all of your work. If I forget to post something, you're emailing me. Ms. Moreno, where did I turn in my mat? Ms. Moreno, where is the but not buddy lesson? Ms. Moreno, you forgot to post this. What is motivating you to keep going? Um, I think something that's been motivating me is that like now we've started to um, see each other through our computers. I get to see my friends or sometimes I just call them on my phone. And I think what motivates me is that we're doing all this together and we're trying to catch up on our things and we get to see each other or hear each other. And I think that's something that's motivating me to do my work. Something that's motivating me is mostly my family because I know that this is part of my grade and I want to get a good career so later on I can my family what do you guys do when you get bored right now when i get bored um i call my friends like i said or i play roblox and minecraft and then sometimes when my brother gets off the ps4 i like to go and play call of duty something i like to do when i'm bored is use my phone call my friends and play roblox and minecraft like Arely said and do you guys have any questions for me about remote teaching I'll have a question. How do you feel? Like, do you feel rushed to um, make sure that we have our, all our lessons um, on time and that you have to fix everything up for us so then we could do our work? Yes, thank you for asking. So, yes, um, I don't feel rushed. I feel like I have less time. For example, when, when I get a math lesson ready to teach in person, that takes me like 30 minutes on a regular day. Right now, since I'm making videos, I have to really um, plan it out. And as I'm doing my doceri video, in my mind, think of what I'm going to say. So something that normally takes me 30 minutes is taking me like two and a half hours. <laughs> but I don't mind doing it because it's for you guys. I want you guys ready no matter what for middle school. So it is more time consuming. 
Um, but you guys are motivating me, especially when you're asking me for that sign. What's difficult for you when you know that you have to get the lessons ready every day? What has been difficult is um, that I have I have to ignore my daughter uh, because I'm on the clock, right? Um, and she has work to do also. So the moment I'm done with all of my school stuff, then I'm going over to help my daughter with her schoolwork. And I have to find a better way to manage that because the t that's cutting into our personal time. Normally after school, it's mine and my daughter's personal time. And yeah. now our personal time is turning into her school time. Okay, so I have a question for you girls. We have done three video conferences. And how do you, tell me about them. How do they make you feel? It makes me feel kind of good because I see my classmates and I see you, Ms. Morena, because um, when I, on the first day when we did a video chat with the rest of the class, I actually just went on my phone and I video chatted with my classmates. But it, I guess it wasn't the same without you because we were doing work by ourselves and we were just like, trying to help each other even though we were and we were trying to like figure out what we were saying because we were confused at the same time because it was our first time doing it alone and then um when you um told us to start with the video chat i felt a little bit more confident about what i was doing and it made me feel better something i like about this is that it makes me feel like we're in school a little bit more because we get to work together and I get to see my classmates and my friends and my teacher. And then she is always, I know that she's always there to help me. So would you recommend all teachers right now that we're in shelter, would you recommend all teachers do video chats with their students? Why or why not? They should because it's a great way for their students to not feel like they're away from their friends and their teacher and they know a little bit more of what they're supposed to do and they have like guidance throughout what they're doing. I believe that all teachers should do this with their students because then they could feel more motivated and could keep on track on to what they're doing. And if they're lost, they have help there. All right, well, thank you girls for your time, for joining us here at MB News. Before we sign out, um, here's a message from Mrs. Alvarez. Good morning, MB scholars. Just wanted to say hello from Montebella. As you can see, I'm still here working. And I just want to encourage you to continue to go online and connect with your teacher because every day your teacher has been doing amazing work and we want to make sure that you continue your learning. I know that this may be a very difficult time for all of you, but know that we're here to support you. Everything is going to be safe and we'll be connecting very soon back at school. I just wanted to give you an update. There are some pickup book pickups for certain grade levels. On Monday, we have kinder pickup from one to three. On Wednesday, we have sixth grade pickup. Today, which is Friday, we have um, pickup for second grade and third grade. If you did not pick up your books, that's okay. Just have your parents call the office and we can get your books and you can come and pick up your books and let us know so we can get your materials. Also, if you have any library books, we have a basket out front. If you can return the books so we can check them in, that would be awesome. I just want to encourage you. I know that this is a very difficult time. Make sure that you are doing things at home, helping your parents and also um, being responsible, the three R's, right? Be respectful, be responsible, and be ready. One of the responsibilities is to continue your reading, your writing, and your math, and also taking care of yourselves. We are here because we care about you, and we know that we'll get through this together. And as we always say here at Montebella, say it with me, I can't hear you. Go Scholars! From all of us here at MB News, have a wonderful day. And like we say every day, Go Scholars!